It's time for our ETF Spotlight. Mike Santoli today taking a look at ETFs that could mirror the smart money plays. Mike, could mirror the smart money plays. Mike. Yes, Sarah. Well, so hedge funds have long been considered the smart money. For those who still do consider uh, hedge funds the smart money worth following, there are a few ETFs that try to essentially look at the stocks most commonly held by hedge funds, either all hedge funds or larger hedge funds or hedge funds with a good record, and hold those stocks. Obviously, right now we're hearing about the 13F holdings of a lot of hedge funds. That's always lagged uh, by at least 30 or 45 days. But nonetheless, some of these funds, they're smaller, but they do try to track it. Goldman Sachs has kept a hedge fund VIP list of stocks, which are basically the 50 stocks that most commonly appear in the top 10 list of uh, the larger hedge funds. It's only launched in November of 2016. It's a small fund. All these funds are pretty small. It's done relatively well, actually. Uh, It's outperformed the market by about two or three uh, percentage points since its inception. So not dramatic, but definitely better. GoDaddy is in there. By the way, GoDaddy appears in a couple of these, so clearly hedge funds are the main holders there. Very tech-oriented otherwise, uh, even besides that. Another one is the Global X Guru Fund. Guru is uh, also the ticker there. A little more diversified, very similar methodology. It's been around a little while longer. Done okay. Uh, A lot of energy in some of the uh, top holdings here, as well as Herbalife, which of course is an interesting battleground stock for some hedge funds. Finally, uh, Alpha ALFA is an alpha clone alternative uh, ETF. This one is very biotech heavy. I think they look at uh, hedge funds that have a really blockbuster record over time, which of course means uh, kind of, you know, hitting a lottery with some big biotech. So this one is a lot of small biotechs uh, in, in small increments held like one or two percent each. I mean, the obvious question is, are they all operating on 45 day delay? Exactly. I mean, you're basically only as good as the information that feeds in, which is at minimum 45 days late. And you don't know what they're doing in real time. Um, so therefore, you know, those, those are all the caveats you have to have in mind. Are they performing actu- outperforming actual hedge funds? They, they've <laughs> outperformed over the last couple of years by a little bit. So it's not, again, it's not anything dramatic. And actually, they had a great run in 2014. Back when activists were really uh, in their heyday, they did very well. Since then, it's been mixed. Interesting. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Mike Santoli, our ETF Spotlight.